Four officers raided this man's reptile facility with the intention of destroying 26 illegal pythons with a nail gun device. And the owner of the facility was super uncomfortable with the situation that was unfolding, so he decided to set up a camera, even after the officers asked him not to. And it's a good thing too, because these officers accidentally destroyed the man's pet boa, which he'd been raising for the last 10 years. And it was pregnant full of little babies, so that's horrible and sad all at once. Now, I'm sure there's people watching this video that can't wrap their brains around having a pet snake. So to those people, try to imagine these animals like you would your dog or cat. I know reptile people can be super weird, but they have the same empathy for their pets as you would for your furry friends. So check the video description for a breakdown of the events that led up to the raid. But here it is in a nutshell. The man that owns the snakes had done so legally for years. But in 2021, the state banned reticulated pythons, forcing the man to find homes for the pythons outside of Florida. After rehoming nearly 100 pythons outside of the state, he called the FWC to ask for an extension to the deadline. And they responded by sending four officers armed with a nail gun to his facility unannounced. So right from the start, you can tell these officers are very uncomfortable with the snakes. I'd also be willing to bet that these men have no idea what kind of snakes they're even handling. They continue to dispatch several pythons, and then this happens. Pay attention, guys, because this is what you came here for. Help me. You guys got a system here. Help me control the body. That's all we're doing. Okay. Um, there's white ones right Oh! So inside of this enclosure is the pet boa. And allegedly, the man that owns the boa warned these officers 10 times that it was not to be harmed. Okay, those were allegedly the tame ones. Oh, yeah. Of the big ones. That's tattle on this one. Remember, this is the one that struck at you. You can actually see this officer look directly at the label. And then he looks right at the camera, which is sus. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. We're coming in, okay? I want him to go that way. That's what I'm saying. a chance to come out of it. might as well get him way out. Okay. Hold on, Jonathan. Let me go. I'm going to go. It's that I can't reach over there. I need to close this. Let it go, let it go. I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a boa. Sure, it's still a snake, but it's an entirely different species. Now, call me crazy, but this officer's body language is telling me something. It's telling me that he just figured out that he made a horrible mistake, but he doesn't acknowledge it. He doesn't tell anybody. No, I just You'll notice some hesitation right about here. That's because the man that owns these snakes is on the other side of that wall. So to avoid the owner freaking out, the officer decided to take the snake and hide it in the corner of the room out of sight of the owner. Because he would probably lose his marbles and they would not be able to continue doing what they were doing. So let's skip ahead to the part of the video where the officers have to break the bad news to this man. John? Yeah. There's uh the bowl is there. The what? The bowl. The pregnant bowl. No. No! What is wrong with you guys? Yeah. You did it! Um we're hey, we're shaking just like you were. 
Is there a way to maybe save the babies? Oh no, dude. Oh my god. Why? It was a mistake. How? I reminded you uh, ten times! You can't fix it. You can't fix it. What well, just happened? It can get fixed. You can't fix it. You just killed something that wasn't illegal, and it had about a hundred thousand dollars worth of fucking babies. Uh, I want to make sure the public's aware that if you currently own one of these reptiles, you're allowed to keep it till its death. So no one's telling you 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 have to go get rid of your your uh, your pet or euthanize it. No one's gonna from the state's gonna take it away from you. So I think there's some misinformation out there, and I just want to clarify that for the for the people listening. I'm already predicting that the state of Florida will do everything in its power to not release the body cam footage. And if they do, it won't be anytime soon. But I'm a very patient person, and when it does get released, I'll be sure to make a video with it. This is a perfect example as to why it's so important to film law enforcement whenever something feels off. Had this man not set up a camera, these officers would probably have gotten away with this without any repercussions. I want to know what you guys think about this situation. How would have you reacted? These guys are clearly out of control and we need to do something about it. So do everything you can to make this video pop. Leave it a like, dro drop me some comments, and uh, share it everywhere. That everywhere you can. Oh, and uh, all you guys here that watch me on live streams, and make sure you join me over on kick.com slash Donnie Rapture. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on!